The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 6, verses 43 to 49. Jesus said to his disciples, There is no sound tree that produces rotten fruit, nor again a rotten tree that produces sound fruit. For every tree can be told by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorns, nor gather grapes from brambles. A good man draws what is good from the store of goodness in his heart. A bad man draws what is bad from the store of badness. For a man's words flow out of what fills his heart. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I say? Everyone who comes to me and listens to my words and acts on them, I will show you what he is like. He is like the man who, when he builds his house, dug and dug deep and laid the foundations on rock. When the river was in flood, it bore down on that house, but could not shake it. It was so well built. But the one who listens and does nothing is like the man who built his house on soil. With no foundations, as soon as the river bore down on it, it collapsed, and water ruined that house became. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in every community and every family, at some time or the other, there will be disturbances. Whether we are people of Christ or not, whether we are people praying or not, but people who pray, who belong to God, they will get strength from God to bear up with the division and difficulty in their families and even in our religious communities. St. Paul writes in his first letter to Corinthians in chapter 10, verses 14 to 22, that we all eat of the one bread. We all share in the same Eucharist. We eat from the same bread, we drink from the same cup. So there should not be any other worships, any other idolatry, any other recognition of any powers in our communities and in our families. No worship of any type. Because you have decided to eat of this bread and share it with all your other brothers and sisters. Therefore, we all belong to one family and one community. Whatever difficulties we have, they all belong to each one of us. And all must strive to get these difficulties out by our understanding towards each other. Dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel of Luke chapter 6, verses 43 to 49, Jesus places a big challenge on each one of us. I utter out of myself what is in store in my heart. 
if i have got bad in store the outcome from my mouth will be bad it cannot be good a bad tree unsound tree cannot produce good fruit similarly if there is good in store in me in my heart my mouth will utter that great good this is what the lord is trying to tell us that you learn from me the good store it and release it in proclamation a man who listens to my word and acts accordingly is someone who builds a house on firm foundations that is on rock but a person who does who just listens but does not act on these words of god jesus himself the house will be vanished or ruined like when it is built on a sand or soft soil when floods come the house will get sunk dear brothers and sisters lord is telling us to motivate our heart with pure things to keep in store in the heart that which we listen from him and bring it out in actions our actions will let others know what is in store in our hearts our action will let others know that we are good persons persons of god persons who do every time good deeds towards others and god dwells in me so my dear friends at this time let us ask through the intercession of our dear mother to help us to store in the best possible in the heart which will be for the betterment of the community for our families for our own brothers and sisters and for our neighbors that by our words we will proclaim to the world what i store from jesus christ in my heart amen